Okay, now it's time to show you my favorite saw. This, as I've mentioned, is the Trailblazer Buck Saw. Very, very nice piece of equipment. This is aluminum, and very strong stuff. But let's show you how quickly how to put it together and how easy it is. So first off, you've got a little clip here. You'll be able to see that. You want to take this off. It holds everything else in place, so don't lose it. I'm not being timed here, but you will see how quickly this goes together. All right. So, this is the main handle. This is the second handle. And inside, you've got room for one blade. It actually says Swedish steel on it somewhere here. Yeah, Trailblazer saw Swedish steel. This is a very, very good blade. But since that's a spare, I'm not going to use it. Here's the other blade. Now watch, you also have, this is the, uh, I guess that's the stiffener. And this is the adjuster. So there's a nut on one end. You'll actually see it's been filed off and crimped so that you can't lose this little wing nut. And there's also a little plastic piece. So, let's see how quick it goes together. First start with the main handle. You start from the small hole, and you'll see there is, rotate it, and it goes right through. And you adjust that little cap so it's in line. And I'm going slow. I can usually put this together in less than a minute. Second handle, right there. Now this, with the points down, and still keeping it loosened up, goes in there like that. Finally, the blade goes into there's a little slot in the handle and in the other handle and don't start tightening it up until all these pieces are in place so what I normally do is I rest it and then I start tightening the wing nut and believe me with a lot of the people I've known I know a lot about wing nuts that's a story for another video or not Okay, normally I wear a pair of gloves, because this can bite in the thumbs pretty well, but there it is. That's it, very sturdy. I tighten it up a little bit more here. Nope. And don't over-tighten it, because it will stress the blade. You can't really over-tighten it too much. The last thing I do, remember this, this little clip? I stick it on the end. That's partly so I don't lose it, and it's partly so, you know, I can hang it on a tree or something. Or one of my paracord ties. They actually make wonderful tree hangers for almost anything. All right, so there it is. Even going slow, it took me less than a minute or two to put this together, and it goes together really nicely. So next, let's see how it cuts. All right, I've rigged up this little demonstration on how well these bows saw cut. This is actually something I've temporarily rigged up. My sawhorse actually rotted apart this year, so currently I'm using my impromptu shooting bench. But it'll work. It's tied down here really good. So here's the saw. It's a 24-inch blade. See how we can go. Ready? Notice that I'm letting the saw do all the work. I'm not really forcing it too much. 
This is not a $3 blade on this saw. It's a $15 Swedish steel blade and it's not as tight as it should be. I could tighten it up another half turn or quarter turn and it's just rigid. This is a marvelous blade. You see it took less than 20 strokes to go through that and it's really effortless. Okay, now we've seen how it cuts. Let's see how quick it comes apart. So you basically do the reverse of what you did originally. Now this one, I might time myself. Okay, got this on pretty well. Then you just spin the wing nut so it comes, comes back, it'll lock. All right. Okay, the saw is apart. Tightener goes in there. And I usually put both blades alongside. Make sure the blades are facing the same direction where it could snag. So the next step, I tend to grab it by the bottom. See it's flopping around. You'll want to avoid the notch. There's a little notch in the bottom here. So it will stick. You get a feel for this pretty quick. All right. And off comes the clip. Guide all the parts in so you don't ratch anything out. See? It actually goes in a little farther. And the ends of the clip. Secure the saw. And this is actually good. You could put it in a you put it in the ice axe loops on your pack. Or something similar if you don't have ice axe loops. Which I'm not even sure why they have a lot of these for well parkland. Anyways, that's it for the Trailblazer Bucksaw. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Alberta Bushcrafter. I'm Dean. Take care and good day.